Welcome back, boys. How you doing? Come on in. Pull up your plastic lawn chair, dude, and let's talk about some good old YouTube drama. I woke up this morning all excited to watch my favorite YouTuber, I Show Speed. I went straight to my subscriptions and I was digging through them and, and he was gone. Banned from YouTube. I fell into a deep depression, questioning how I was meant to go on without my top content creator putting out the most dynamic and creative content on the platform. Yeah, I'll smack that old, that old 90 year old p Yeah, 90 year old Romanian p Yeah! YouTube had scorned me, but my depression didn't last long because he was unbanned within a few hours. But what did he do to receive this ban? What evil atrocities must he have committed to be banned off of the largest platform on the internet? Well, I'll tell you. He successfully jumped over two cars. That's it. He got banned for dangerous activities, something YouTube does take very seriously. Um, so I have created a YouTube friendly version of the video so you guys can see just exactly why he got banned. Come on. So Speed was basically banned for a few hours because he filmed himself jumping over two luxury cars, a stunt which YouTube said, no, 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 that's too dangerous to have on our website, okay? Which on the one hand, I do have to say, is it really that big of a deal? I mean, the guy successfully jumped over two moving vehicles, but if he had been hit by one of the vehicles, he would have turned into a red mist, something that I don't think YouTube would like. I don't, I don't think YouTube would want that. But there are tons of people doing dangerous stunts on YouTube, like the guys that are literally free climbing skyscrapers. So what makes Speed so much different? To be honest, I think the first thing that YouTube takes into account is that Speed is not a professional stuntman. The, the guy, from what I can tell, doesn't even really take precautions when it comes to this kind of stuff. I don't think they take any precautions aside from Speed saying, I'm pretty sure I can jump over two cars. Like, probably at the same time even. If you had two cars stacked on top of each other, I think I could... I could jump over that. But also, Speed's audience is relatively young. I don't personally know anybody over the age of 20 who watches I Show Speed. And with that younger audience, they're more impressionable and they're more likely to do dangerous things because they just think that, well, my favorite streamer did it and I want to be cool, just like them. And that's how you end up with a lot of, uh, uh, child death, <laughs> to be blunt. And doing dangerous things for views is nothing new. We say it every video. Speed even jumped over a car earlier this year, which YouTube was perfectly fine with because they say one car, that's totally fine. Two cars? Yeah, out of your freaking mind. That's insane. But it seems like there's been a dangerous rise in stunts on YouTube and Twitch and Kick, whatever, just for views. I like how before Speed went out to do this, Aiden Ross is pleading with him not to do it. Bro, right, look, you're I, 30 not. 30 seconds, my time. You're not seconds. stopping me, bro. bro. Just 30 seconds. I already I did it before. Hey, bro, like, you can't, you can't not convince cool. me. You, you can't convince it's me, mama. You gonna fuck up my mindset, okay? If Aiden Ross is supposed to be the moral compass of the situation, you need, you need to rethink your decisions. Also, I saw some people saying that this was fake on Twitter, but I don't know how you would fake this unless you had like professional equipment with like a harness and everything. And then somebody went in and edited the entire thing so that you couldn't see the harness and whatever. I don't know, man, I'm not a production person, but I think there's a large group of people nowadays who have no moral compass when it comes to making content. Like their minds have been so infected with content brain that they, they don't understand what they're doing is wrong or dangerous. We had that chick a few months ago who convinced a woman who could not swim, by the way, to jump into a pond or a lake or something. And then they just left her to drown. We're you should high. just jump in right now. I'm gonna jump in with my shoes on. Okay. Ready? Yeah, ready? Oh! Did you see her ass? What? Oh, I... You said it was okay. You said you wanted to swim. You told me to jump in. I didn't tell you to jump in. Yes, yeah, you did. Yes. Just, uh, thank you guys. We're gonna have you guys get off. Wait, who is that? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> there was also more recently that kid, that like 17 year old who derailed an entire train because he wanted YouTube content. Oh my freaking God.
Oh my god, are they okay? Like, holy shit, dude. Can you imagine being so brain rotted that you start derailing literal freight trains for content? I'm waiting for a YouTuber to go online and just stream themselves, like stealing somebody's car or something. What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm gonna to be stealing a car in the middle of New York City. Watch to the end of the video to see if I hold them hostage at gunpoint. I guess, where's the line? Because I'm sure we're getting close to it at this point before everyone kind of wakes up and realizes, oh, I almost like killed somebody. I mean, Speed is no stranger to dangerous stunts. I think his most famous video is the one where he's setting off fireworks in his bedroom. I think that's the video that really made him pop off. I mean, the guy is huge. He's got almost 28 million subscribers on YouTube, and I think he's the number one streamer on YouTube as well. So to be honest, <laughs> there's no repercussions for his actions. Let's be honest, YouTube. YouTube just sent him a strike, kind of like, hey man, pff, I know, super lame, but like, we need you to take down the video, okay? Just because we don't want kids becoming stains on the pavement. So, you know, keep up the good work, though. Keep making us money. I mean, content. Keep making us content. All right. I mean, let's be honest. If this was like a small YouTuber, someone with like 10,000 subscribers, their account would be nuked off the platform. So was this ban valid? Honestly, man, I don't know. I, I, I don't really think so. Honestly, who cares anymore? As long as everyone's safe and all right, whatever. I don't know. I mean, I understand the side of saying we can't have kids watching this and then trying to recreate it because it's so dangerous. But at the same time, in my opinion, it's the responsibility of the parent to make sure that their kids aren't setting off fireworks in their bedroom or derailing a fucking train. But I mean, call me crazy. Medusa and his crazy ideas here. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Is this a valid reason to ban somebody? Also, he can't stream for two weeks, so he does lose some monetization there. But because you guys can't watch the iShow speed stream, you can stop by ding, 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 my stream. That's right. Twitch.tv slash Medusa the Sedusa. We have a good time and it's where I get to engage with my community the most. So we would love it if you stop by, say hello, drop a follow and... That's pretty much all I got, boys. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Have a wonderful night or day or whatever. And until next time, boys, I'll see ya. Okay, bye. Little boo, fuck this game. Oh, my mama, you dirty as fuck. You dead ass. <laughs>